In this chapter, we will learn about integers as exponents and laws of exponents with integral power. For example, 3 square, 3 upon 5 to the power 4, minus 3 to the power 4, etc. Here, 2, 4, 6, etc. are called the exponents. Let a be any real number and n a positive integer. Then we define a to the power n as the product of a n times. We read it as a raised to the power n. In a raised to the power n, the real number a is called the base and n is called the exponent, power or index. In this chapter, we will learn about negative integral exponents, laws of exponents, scientific notation. Here we will learn about negative integral exponents. As we know that 10 to the power 0 is equal to 1. 10 to the power 1 is equal to 10. 10 to the power 2 is equal to 10 into 10 which is equal to 100. 10 to the power 3 is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 which is equal to 1000. Here we see that 10 is multiplied with itself n times where n is the exponent. We can also say that as the exponents of 10 increase by 1, the value becomes 10 times of the previous value. In a similar pattern, if the exponents of 10 decrease by 1, the value becomes 1 tenth of the previous value. So, we have 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 10, 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 upon 100, and 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 1000. Hence, for any non-zero rational number a and any positive integer a to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 upon a, then in general, a to the power minus n is equal to 1 upon a to the power n. Note, a to the power minus 1 is called the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of a. Let us understand this concept with the help of these examples. In this example, we will find the multiplicative inverse of the following. Solution The multiplicative inverse of 3 to the power 4 is 1 upon 81. The multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 3 to the power 6 is 729 upon 64. Zero exponents For any non-zero rational number, x, x to the power 0 is equal to 1. Here are some examples. 